A jury watching the final moments of a five-year-old boy's life before he was beaten to death. Dominic Aguilar Acevedo found dead in a Colorado ravine back in August of 2021. His mother and her boyfriend, this man, Daniel Garcia, are both charged. But the child's mother, Nicole Aguilar, took the stand today. Erica Hernandez takes us inside the courtroom as that mother explains exactly what happened to her son. I walked into the hotel room, into the bathroom, and Dominic was laying in the bathtub unconscious. That's how Nicole Aguilar explains the moment she discovered her son after he fell ill on July 24th, 2021. Just moments before, Dominic Aguilar Acevedo was seen slowly walking down a staircase at a northeast side hotel with a hoodie and mask over his face. Minutes later, he is rushed back upstairs by Daniel Garcia. Garcia is accused of physically beating Dominic to death. Aguila detailing how Garcia would punch Dominic, hold him down, and withheld food from him. He just lay there after he got punched. I didn't see it coming. I don't know what provoked it. It was almost 12 hours after Dominic was last seen on surveillance video that they all left the hotel and fled to Colorado. Aguila telling the jury it was her idea to go there because she wanted her son to be buried somewhere beautiful. When they got to Fraser, Colorado, she says they found a place to put Dominic. I went to the edge of where that tree's coming out of and I lowered him down. She says Garcia lowered himself down with the rope to further hide Dominic's body. Aguila says they fled to Costa Rica and after her mother questioned where Dominic was, she told her what happened. It would be a month later when Dominic was found. As for the defense, during their opening arguments, they are shifting a lot of the blame for Dominic's death on Nicole, but they have yet to cross-examine her. That will take place tomorrow morning. Now, Nicole Aguila did take a plea deal in exchange for her testimony. The maximum she can get is 15 years in prison, while Garcia is facing up to life in prison if he is found guilty. Now, testimony will resume here in the 226 District Court tomorrow morning around 9-ish. Live at the Kennedy Reeves Justice Center, Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News. Thank you, Erica. We're live streaming this trial. You can watch it on KSAT.com, KSAT Plus, and the KSAT YouTube channel.